Central Park Church. Um, hope that you're doing well. Um, we miss you guys so much, and I wanted to give you guys an update on where we are as a church family, and just kind of keep you all informed with um, where we're going and how we're going to continue to try to figure out how to do church um, at a at a, at a distance from one another. It's a it's a learning curve for all of us, and I appreciate the patience and encouragement that you've given. Um, the staff and the elders through um, this particularly strange and unique time. I um, want to let you guys know that in light of the information that we've received from the governor and our government officials, MPC has made the decision that through the month of April, we're not going to have any events in our building. So no Wednesday night, no Sunday morning, all events that are going would happen in our building will not happen in the month of April. Uh, the elders and the staff are continuing to monitor the situation. We want to honor the recommendations of our government officials and so we're going to be following their guidelines and their recommendation as we continue to move forward and make decisions on um, how we're going to be together as a church family and when we're going to be able to have the opportunity to come back and worship in our building. Uh, but we will keep you all informed. We will keep you up to date with that, um, but we're going to be continuing to monitor that situation. In light of that fact, we're going to continue to try to connect with one another and to be with one another um, virtually and through creative means to, to stay together as the body of Christ. Uh, one of the ways is we're going to have our Wednesday night class tonight on Facebook Live. Uh, so Paul Castleman is teaching a class on how do we embrace and understand and figure out our identity in Christ? And, and, and how do we bring that about and live into that in very practical ways? And so at 6.30 tonight, he will be having a Facebook Live class. And I encourage all our MPC members and invite your friends to come and participate in that class time. It will start at 6.30. Paul will be teaching. And one thing I would like to invite everybody that participates in that class to do is uh, to be a little bit more interactive. So if you have comments or questions, I know it's not the ideal situation, it's not a classroom setting, but post those on Facebook uh, during the class time and Paul will engage with those and it will allow us to engage with one another uh, a little bit more uh, deeply and intimately. And so I invite you to do that. I hope you join us tonight on our Facebook page at 6.30. And if you can't watch at 6.30, if you have a scheduled conflict, uh, you'll be able to re-watch the class later on. So I, I hope you find some time to engage with the material that Paul will be uh, providing tonight. Uh, the youth are also meeting tonight. So our 5th through 7th grade will be meeting uh, at 6.30 on Zoom with Paul, not with Paul, with uh, Patrick tonight. And um, our 8th through 12th grade will be meeting at 7.30 on Zoom with um, with Patrick, and it sounds like they've had some great conversations, and the material they're engaging with is uh, very profound and thought provoking. And so, I encourage all our students to take part in those class opportunities tonight. Want to remind you all that our YouTube page has uh, a lot of different resources on there to be used um, with your family. Uh, I know one of them is that there's different classes that have been uh, provided by our um, by our teachers uh, for, our, for our young kids. And I, Kim Hall has uh, created a few more of those classes, so be looking for those. Um, and I just want to thank our teachers for all that they've done in, in creating the, this content. Um, I know for my family, we've watched multiple uh, classes, and it's been a way for Harper to, to have some sense of normalcy and still connect with her teachers and, and learn about God and His creation. And it's been a great um, it's been a great resource for us to have, and so thank you for our teachers for doing that. In light of that, um, I want to let you guys know that our from the kindergarten age through fourth grade, Patrick's been working with some of those teachers to uh, create some video content as well that will be coming out soon, so be looking for that to be able to spend some really quality time with uh, your kids and, and them to interact with, um, I think, some beautiful content that's being created by uh, the the very talented people at National Park Church. Uh, want to let you know as well that in the next couple days we will be uh, uploading a conversation that I had yesterday with Chad and Megan Hethcox. Um, the conversation is centered around how do we, as Christians, um, how can we be good stewards of our resources that God has given us? And 
Both of them are intimately connected with the financial peace ministry that's done by Dave Ramsey. And so they give great insights that are both um, immensely deep, but also uh, very practical that you can apply into your everyday life. So uh, be looking for that. It's a great conversation that I had with the Heth Coxes, and I think you'll really enjoy and be blessed by our uh, conversation together. Uh, also want to name uh, that it sounds like the Bible Buddy Bunnies have been an incredible success. We've gotten a ton of pictures of little kids with their bunnies. Again, I know in our family, Harper um, has spent very little time without embracing that bunny, and that bunny has to go everywhere she goes. And so that's been a, a great gift to our church family. And uh, I just encourage all of us to be praying for our kids as they journey through Scripture in a very creative way that was created by uh, Becky and Patrick. And so um, encourage your kids to participate in that. And then those of us that may not have kids at that age, um, be praying that God works through that time in his word. Um, want to get, let you guys know too that we are having our Easter ser service virtually uh, on Sunday morning at 10 a.m. Uh, we want everybody to be a part of it. Uh, we're really excited about what we're going to be providing. I think it's going to be an awesome time of worship, an awesome time to celebrate and rejoice in the resurrection of Jesus Christ. And the beauty is, is that we are celebrating an event that has shaped all of reality. And we are celebrating the event where we name the fact that Jesus was not conquered by death, but he conquered death. And I just want everybody to be a part of that celebration with us on Sunday morning. Uh, we're going to provide some things that are a little bit different than we've done in the past couple services. We're going to incorporate a lot of our members in that service. So please join us at 10 a.m. on our YouTube channel, our website, or our Facebook page and be part of that service. And I'd love for you all to invite your friends and family to join us as well. I think it can be a great opportunity for us as the body of Christ to celebrate the foundational event of our faith, which is Jesus' resurrection. And as we close most of these weekly updates with, I want you guys to remember that if you have any needs, any concerns, anything that the elders or the staff or our congregation in general can help you with, please let us know. We want to continue to be the loving family that MPC is even as we are apart. So don't hesitate to contact us and let us know if there is any needs. Again, I hope you know that you are immensely loved by God and you are loved by us. And uh, even though we are apart, the bond that has been brought together by the Spirit cannot be broken. I hope that you have an incredible week. I hope you have an incredible Easter with your family. And I hope that you join us on Sunday morning at 10 to celebrate the risen Christ. Love you guys.